Nashville. Every single day, thousands of patients across the country are heading into collection centres, into general practices, not sure, feeling a bit unwell, not sure what's going on, or have already been diagnosed with a disease and need to make sure that they are on track to manage that chronic condition. And every day, there are pathologists, there are scientists in testing centres around the country analysing samples of patients. Here in this centre, over half a million patients in the Canberra region are, are test, have been tested and have their tests analysed by this centre. These are patients who may have low liver function or kidney function, may be wanting to know how to manage their diabetes better. It is about prevention and about treatment. The government's decision to cut $650 million out of the bulk billing incentives for pathology and diagnostic imaging is a very blunt instrument. What they have decided to do is basically impose a co-payment. They tried it in the 2014 budget and they had to drop it very quickly because pathology and diagnostic imaging billing is incredibly complex and very sensitive and you have to be very careful about how you go about working with the sector to get efficiencies. They tried it in 2014 with the co-payment and this is exactly the same, uh, same decision and it will have the same outcome. It puts a co-payment onto pathology and onto diagnostic imaging, requiring patients, particularly in diagnostic imaging, to pay hundreds of dollars up front to get the vital tests that they need. Now, time and time again, we have seen this government make an absolute, and I can't use any other words, but stuff up when it comes to health policy. They go out, they make a really big announcement, somehow try and bluff their way through, and then they start to realise the consequences of those decisions. And they back down. They accuse Labor that we're running scare campaigns, they accuse patients, they accuse pathologists in this case of being greedy in essence. They go and do that and then they have to back down. It is time that this government stopped messing with our healthcare system. This week again, through Senate estimates, we've found that the government has had a secret plan, 20 people on a task force, $5 million, to privatise the Medicare, the PBS and aged care payment system. This is billions of dollars of taxpayers' money that is paid in benefits to people who are going to see their doctors, to uh, get their scripts, or in aged care provision every single day. This is a system that works well, and the government now wants to say, let's throw it out to the private sector to actually manage this incredibly complex payment system. I don't think you could get any area where there is uh, so much chaos than when it comes to health policy, and it's time this government learnt its lesson and backed down on these cuts.